Welcome to this third video in this Laravel 5.3 basic series. In this video, I'm going to be talking to you about routing. And routing is a lot of fun. This is where we start to see a lot of it kind of coming together. So let's go ahead and open up our application in our text editor. And then I'm going to make sure that I have run PHP Artisan serve so we have our application running on localhost 8000. So if I go back to my editor and I scroll down, I will see this folder called routes. And routes is where all of our routes for our web application, where requests coming in, so a user wants to visit the home page or they want to visit slash about, we will define all these inside of our routes web.php. So you can see we already have a route in there, and that is the home page route. And it returns a view of welcome. Let's go ahead and just remove this and just say hello Laravel. So let me save that and let me go ahead and reload this localhost 8000. And sure enough, we see that printed out on the screen. And that is because we hit the home route and then it ran the echo command. So let's go ahead and create a new route. And let's just say route get hello. And then we can go ahead and just echo out hello again. So let's go ahead and go to localhost 8000 slash hello. And now we get the hello again. So now let's say that we wanted to maybe pass a parameter in from our URL. So let's say that we wanted to say hello to a certain person. So I could then pass in this name variable. So I could say hello, and then I could print out a person's name. So let me save that, and let me show you what I'm talking about. If I go to hello slash Tony, then we get printed out hello Tony. So you can see that we can simply pass in parameters just by defining them inside of our route get and then passing the variable through our function. So let's say that we wanted to maybe have a user ID. Maybe the user has an ID of one. So we could, we probably wouldn't want to print it out, but we could then go to slash hello slash one, or we could go to slash user slash one. We could look up user with ID one in the database and then print out information about them. But that's just how easily it is that you can pass parameters through your routes. And I also do want to talk about the concept of RESTful routes or CRUD, which is create, read, update, and delete. And we can hit different routes based on these particular requests. So up here we have defined the route get, but there are a few other routes that we can do, which is route post. And then we also have our route get, which we just defined above. We have route put and then we also have route delete. And what this is doing is this is basically doing the CRUD operations. So with a post we will essentially create an item and then with get we will read an item and then put we are going to update an item and then of course with delete we are going to delete an item. So you can see the concept of CRUD, which is create, read, update, and delete. So by default, the get is where we will usually read an item, but let's go ahead and show you how we might get to this post route, the put, and the delete route. So let's just go ahead and create a new route and just call this test. And then this probably isn't good practice, but I'm just gonna go ahead and echo out a form. So normally you want to pass a view, and then this is where, in the view is where you will have the form. But for simplicity's sake, I am just going to echo out the form. So I'm going to give this an action, and just pass this to test. And say that this method is going to be post. And then I'm just going to go ahead and echo out a submit button. And before I can actually submit a form, let's go ahead and run this first, and then I'll go ahead and show you why we are going to get an error. So if I run the localhost 8000 slash test, then we are going to get an error, router post called in, and we actually need to define all of these here as well. So let's define that that post tests, tests, and test. So let's reload this, and you can see that we don't have anything on the page, and that's because I need to create a correct submit button. So let's go ahead and click on the submit button, and we get this error back saying token mismatch exception. 
And what this is, is this is a security measure provided by Laravel, which is called CSRF protection. Um, but we will go in this in a later video. But for now, all you need to know is that inside of your forms, you will need to have an input of type hidden with a value that is equal to CSRF token. And then we need to give it a name of underscore token. And let's go ahead and try this again. So let's click on the submit button. And then we just get a blank page because we haven't echoed anything out. And what we're going to do is we're actually going to hit this post route. So I could say, we just created an item. So let's run this route again. And let's click on the submit button. And then we actually hit the post route because we defined that we wanted this method to be post. So the only thing that the browser knows actually is a post or a get request. So what we can then do is we need to pass it a hidden type in order to hit these put and delete requests. So let me go ahead and show you what I mean by that. Let's create another input type of hidden. And this is going to have a name of underscore method. And then I'm going to give it a value of put. And let's go ahead and echo out something here. Echo, we have just updated an item. And let's also echo out one for the delete. We have just deleted an item. So let's go back, let's reload this page, and let's click on the submit button. And now we have, we have just updated an item. So sure enough, if we go back here and change this hidden method to delete, and we reload this page, and we click on submit, then we are going to get to the, we have just deleted an item. So you can see that we can define all of these different CRUD routes. And then when we submit a form, we can specify where we want that to go, whether we want to create an item, update an item, or delete an item. And that's kind of just a basic CRUD concept. And I hope you can see just how powerful the Laravel routing system is. I would recommend that you go ahead and just kind of play around with the routes. And we will show you how to map a route to a view and to a controller in a later video. But for now, you can go ahead and just wrap this in a route closure and go ahead and echo out some content and kind of just play around with it and get a feel for it. Hey guys, thanks for checking out this Laravel Basics video. Uh, Laravel is a really cool framework that allows us to build these really cool applications. And one of those applications that I have built is the Dev Dojo. So if you check out devdojo.com, it's a learning resource for all things web development, including Laravel. I've just added a new section which includes ebooks that you can download. And uh, it's just a whole bunch of resources for you to get better at web development. So thanks again for checking out this video. And I hope you go over to the devdojo.com and check it out.